Hey guys, it's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the best ways to entry frag and how you can improve at it. But before we get into that, 57% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed. If you enjoy daily Rainbow Six Siege content consisting of everything from tips and tricks like this video to gameplay, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so that you never miss another video. So entry fragging is really important in Siege, and the players who are the best at it usually get the most amount of attention. So a lot of players are always looking to get some of that same success and try to to get the best KD and the most amount of kills in a single game. But that's going to lead us into my first tip, which is that having a high amount of kills doesn't always mean that you're doing a good job at entry fragging and that it could actually mean the opposite. So let me explain what I mean. If you have a lot of kills, but you get them, say, while playing Ash, last alive in a 1v5, and you lose, your kills are what's called impactless frags. Impactless frags are basically when you get a kill that doesn't change the round outcome. This is something that I think a lot of people need to get out of the mindset of having before they can ever actually get better at entry fragging. Too many people are focused on the amount of kills they have rather than who they're killing and if it has a positive impact on the round. To give an example of what an impactful frag is, let's say you're on attack and you somehow manage to kill their smoke player early. Since smoke's gadget becomes more useful as the round goes on and you kill them before he was able to use that gadget successfully, that gives your team the ability to plant without worrying about his smoke canisters. So you've successfully gotten an impactful frag, which has probably also changed the round outcome in your favor. Now that's not to say that if you just kill any other operator it isn't impactful but there are instances where some kills are just impactless such as if you're in a 1vx situation and you lose as I said before. That's why it's really important to not worry about the overall KD or amount of kills you have and just focus on who you're killing and if it's impactful to the round. So just try to keep in mind that there's more to entry fragging than just the amount of kills you have and your overall KD. It's super important to not go for one for one trades that don't impact the round all that much and to be supportive your team and winning the rounds so that brings us to my second tip which is to actually push with the team and be a team player now i understand that you're ash or whoever else and you just want to walk in and get as many kills as possible and put the rest of the round on your teammates shoulders but your teammates are a key factor in how successful you could be as an entry fragger having a solid droner giving you perfect callouts and watching your flanks can be the deciding factor in whether or not you get your kills or not so remember to value your teammates especially those support players and remember that they're going to be a big factor when it comes to how good you are at entry fragging. So you're just all about teamwork. So if you're lacking that, you're going to be in for a rough ride. Next up, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to return the favor and help me out a bit, this is the absolute best way to do so. But my third tip is to actually not focus on flashy movement. While you can be a great fragger with good looking flashy movement, I see the vast majority of people trying to look like they're good at the game rather than actually focusing on being good at the game. Nobody's going to care if you can bolo peek or do nice 360s if you're just getting first picked on Ash every single round. You need to focus on your crosshair placement and actual aiming skills rather than trying Sorry. to look good and impress the people spectating you. Oh getting God. impactful kills and making good plays that win the round is much more impressive than bolo picking a door and dying because of it. All right, now that we've got all that out of the way, let's get back to some of the basics. So for my fourth tip, I've got two things to bring up for you all. The first is aim training and making sure that you're fully warmed up. Now, I just made a video on this the other day, so I won't go too in depth on this. And I also have several other videos on how to improve your overall aim and all of that. So the next thing is recoil control. Learning to perfect your recoil control is huge because once you've learned it, it's kind of like one of those things that just becomes natural and you won't even think about controlling recoil anymore. You'll just be focused on aiming and hitting your shots. I've again made several videos on recoil control and aim training, and all of those videos will be found in my tips playlist, which I'll have linked down below in the description. My last tip of the video is going to be VOD reviewing. I highly suggest that you watch the Pro League and see exactly where the pro players push from on certain maps and just try to learn as much as possible from them. Another thing you could do is to record yourself playing playing and whether you hit a really nice play or a really bad play just take a look back on that clip and think to yourself about what you could have done differently and what you could have done better than you did in that clip this will help you make better decisions in the future when you're put in a similar situation next time game sense is one of the most important things to learn in siege for any role so this is a good way to start learning some of that that's all the tips that i have for you all today though if you enjoyed again be sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you never miss another video i'll be streaming tomorrow around 11 a.m east and my podcast named the post plan podcast will be starting around 1 p.m east if you guys are interested in that be sure to check out my twitch channel which i'll have linked down below in the description that's where we're going to be hosting the podcast tomorrow anyways though thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you all in the stream tomorrow for the podcast but have a great day controlled area you drop Leave he's now. gonna go back for me spotted and i have sophia one's above one's above he's in vip swapping mag He's going full out there. Oh,
So blatant. How are you dead, bro? Red wall, red wall, red wall. Dude, he's in dead. What are you doing? Hold on, shock. Can you just walk in? Coat. Yeah, through my smoke. Coat. One's, one's prep. Red wall's open. In, in. Wow. Let's go, boys. That's why I'm the SMG 11 why legend, bro. Why did all bro? three people not try to shoot at you? I don't understand. I'm built different, Braxton. Why, like, why is that kid walking? Why is that kid just... Sledge, you're good to go on. Strap. Quality play. Full table play. And four is clear. Okay. Oh, my aim was really shaky there. My aim was so shaky for a second. On that Jaeger, it was really bad. That shot kind of sucked, but it's all good. Unless you know you're in I down one. I'm about to come for the floor. No, oh, I think mean, he just took my kill. That's one strike up. Yep, that's my kill. There's one. Oh, down oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. One in piano. Top, top, top way, top, top way, top way, top way. Changing max. What was it? You located a bomb. Let me get it, Gino. No, he's on the ping, on the ping, on the ping. Thank you. Dude, yeah, that would, I would have had an ace right. I'm 14 and 4 with the shotgun. I would have had an ace, but Twitch, or not Twitch, sorry. Our other teammate stole the bandit that I downed. Oh, that was an. Oh, bro. Yeah, he's.